Hello everyone, it's me Yusuf. I am back to you today with a new tutorial. Today we are going to talk about how you can draw a wooden bridge in Revit. As you can see in the picture, this is our project. Uh, before I start, don't forget to like and subscribe because this will help me too much. Uh, I promise to do a tutorial uh, every day or every week. So let's go ahead and start our uh, tutorial. So first thing I'm going to do to add like some reference planes and I will rename it like reference plane number one. I will extend it a little bit. Then I will make copy for it and let's make the weights of our bridge wood entrance like let's say uh, six meter. I think it's good. And then I will add some grid. And if you can see here, like uh, the number two is already renamed uh, because Revit it gives us this option. So I think this is good. And we are going to make uh, another grid like this. And I will rename it to A. Then I will make copy. And let's make it uh, 20 meter. I think it's enough. But I will select them all and move them to the center. And yeah, now we are going to the south elevation. I'm going to add like uh, a new level, so uh, it will be also four meter. Uh, I will extend both of these uh, grids. So I will move them up just to make them look look more cool, like this. Also, this one. And here we go. And now we are going to uh, draw uh, our the face of our uh, wooden bridge. So what I'm going to do now to go to model line, and then I will choose reference plane number one. I press OK. And so I'm going to make like lines first, and then I'm going to uh, add our uh, beams, a wooden beam, and a structural column. Also, it will be uh, from mode. So, what I'm going to do just to move a, a line in 60 degree down, and then I will go up like this in 60 degree in same angle, and this is will be nice. So, so also I'm going in 60 degree, and I will go up also in 60 degree. I will extend this line. And what I'm going to do now just to select all this and make copy and move it from here to here and let's make the uh, grid to here then uh, I'm going to uh, to insert uh, our uh, wood beam so what I'm going to do to go to insert load family I will go to metric then I will go to uh, structure framing then I will choose wood I will go to arm timber and I'm going to choose one of these and I'll press ok but and then I will go to structure so let's make it 600 by 600 I think it's better so I'm going to make duplicate and 600 by 600 Press OK, uh, and now I need to change them from the edit, edit bar and press OK. So what I'm going to do now to, to draw our first uh, wooden timber, then I'm going to draw the another one. And if I go to the realistic view, let's see it how it looks. I think it looks great so I will go to the south level again then I'm going to add some uh, wooden uh, column structure so I will go to insert again go to load family uh, go to metric uh, structural column wood choose uh, I'm timber column press open and I'll Make OK. Then I will go to architecture, to structure, column, 
and I'm going to change the um, the edit of this column let's duplicate and make it like let's say 300 by 150 press ok uh, 300 by 150 and press ok then I'm going to draw them like here and I'm going to change the detail line to fine and I will move it to here then I will move it like this sorry this, I, this one I need to extend it to down so I'll press I'll make and join them to solve this issue just you need to go like this and then move it back and it will be solved so I'm going to do this for the another line so I'll go to structure column I'll extend it to here and to here then I will select it make a mirror for it and then I will also make a mirror here and I will extend this one also I'm going to select this all and make a mirror as you can see here and here we go but uh, to make it more real like or more logic I think uh, we need to make this uh, column more thicker so what I'm going to do now just to uh, go to uh, structure column and I will make it let's say uh, 300 by 300 so so I will make edit type duplicate or let's make it not 300 by 300 I think it's enough I will press ok and change it from here press ok then I will select all this structural column and change it like this so another step that I'm going to press WT on my keyboard uh, close it go to level 1 and close this one and press WT again on keyboard and Trevid will show us the two windows like you see so I'm going to go to wireframe visual style I will select all of these columns Then I will go here, make copy and move it from here to here, make and join and let's go to 3D model view and as you can see here now we have our two faces. So what I'm going to do is to connect the two faces uh, by wooden timber so I'm going to uh, level 1 then I will go to beam and I will throw one from here to here and one from, oh sorry I go for ceiling plane I should go to level one uh, did I draw it? I will make delete I will go to level two sorry and then I will go to beam draw one from the middle here to the middle here then I will do same one and I will change them to no I think we have a mistake so um, I will make a view range make them unlimited because I'm not seeing well what's happening 
so I'm going to delete this and this one go to beam again um, I will make from here to here and from here to here and I will go 3D model and I think now it works so what I'm going to do just to select both of this make copy align to select level and I will make level 3 and now we have them on level 3 so how we can solve this issue as I told you I go to uh, I will select this one and I will move it sorry let's go to south level and I will move it like this and I will move it like this and I will do the same for the another one and let's go to the I think so we need to move this back here so we still have the another side to do it so I will go to north and I will change the detail line to fine and I will move it like this and I will check everything is going fine or not I still have this one I don't know if I can do it so I will go to north again and I will move this one to here and this one I know this is kind of boring but you know like Revit is not very good in sometimes it makes some issue in connecting some beams so I think now everything is uh, working on so what I'm going to do again just to uh, go to level 2 and add some floor here and before I add some floor, I'm just going to add like some um, structural uh, column here. So I'm going to um, beam again, and I will make some something like small. So I will make duplicate 300 by 300. Make OK and I will make one from here to here I'll press WT and to see what's happening so I will close all this press WT on keyboard so it will show me what's going on so as you can see here this is line is here as if you can see and I will move a little bit now and go from here to here and you see what's going on on the next window so as you can see here we still have to do uh, one more so I will go from here to here and it show us uh, I am I'm going to do another one from up so I will select I will go to to level 3 I will close this one and I will go to view range uh, let's make it minus 500 by minus 500 so I can see a little bit down and I will make WT in keyboard I'll press WT in keyboard so it will show me the windows that I already are uh, working on in Revit so uh, I'm going to go to beam and I will select one from here to here and one from here to here it's very good to like make uh, two windows sometimes to see what's going on while you are drawing it's better than draw everything and if you have anything wrong so you need to remove it so I think now uh, our model is um, wooden bridge model is looking great not bad so what I'm going to do is just to add like some floor here so I'm going to uh, add like 
a floor here in the middle so I will go to level uh, 2 and then I will go to structural floor and I will go to rectangular choose rectangle from the box and move it to here then I will press OK and I will go to 3D model view I can make it little up so I will make offset like let's say uh, 200 or it's too much so let's make it like 100 millimeter I think it's good not bad well, let's go 50 I think will be nicer then I'm going to uh, I'm going to change this one to make it let's say because uh, it's too much thick so I will make it 150 by 150 I think it will be more uh, good so so I will press So I think it's more beautiful so I will make like this, select this one and also this one here down and make it 150 and I think it's more beautiful now, not this one for sure. This. So what I'm going to do now just to, all, to make copy for this floor and make it align it for level 3 and I will make offset let's say minus 100 and that's good so what I'm going to do just to change this uh, floor to glass something glass I will go to material go to glass, and I will write glass here and I'll make ok apply so that's it and another thing that I'm going to do just to uh, go to level 2 add some curtain wall here so I'm going to press WA on, on keyboard or, or I will go to architecture and go to wall then I will go to choose uh, curb, curtain wall so, so I'm moving like this like this Oh, before this, I'm just going to, I forget to do it, just to add, make them uh, go up to level 3. It's better than change them after I do, so I'll go to 3D model view, and as you can see here, this is our, um, our wooden bridge. Uh, Entrance. So what I'm going to do just to add some foundation. So I will go to structure, make a slab here, go to level one, and I will make one here. Uh, then I will select this, make copy, and move it from the center here to the center here and here and here uh, then I will make uh, ok and as you can see here this is our uh, wooden uh, bridge entrance I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching and have a nice day